I need a snack. You know, my mom's always telling me to stop eating so much junk food. She says I don't need so much sugar in my body. I beg to defer. Well, at least she's wrong about my body needing sugar. Did you know that almost everything we eat has sugar in it? Bananas, strawberries, cookies, milk, and even ketchup. You see, everyone's body needs sugar. It's what gives us energy for our minds and our bodies. But you see, not everyone can use the sugar that they eat in the right way. For instance, Nicholas, who has type 1 diabetes. Diabetes means there is too much sugar in the blood. A hormone called insulin is made in the pancreas. Insulin works like a key to a door, opening the cells in our body and allowing the sugar to pass from the bloodstream into the cells to use for energy. Type 1 diabetes is usually diagnosed in children. You do not get diabetes from eating too much sugar, and you cannot catch it from sitting next to someone with diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas does not make enough insulin. Let's see how Nicholas's morning routine is different because of his diabetes. After waking up, Nicholas must check his blood sugar using a glucose meter. The number determines the amount of insulin he needs. If the number is high, he gets more insulin. And if the number is low, he gets less insulin. Then he gets a shot, eats his breakfast, and he's ready for the day. Let's talk to Nicholas now. When did you find out you had diabetes? I've had it since I was five and a half. What are the symptoms that made you know that you had to go to the doctor? I was very thirsty, I was really tired, and tended to use the um, restroom a lot. Do your shots hurt? Sometimes it hurts, and sometimes it doesn't. Can you still do sports and other activities? I play on a tennis team, I'm a fast runner, and I play on a soccer team. You are a special type of monitor. How does it work? My device helps my parents and I see what my sugar is. Thanks, Nick, for sharing your diabetes story. Now let's go hear from another RBW student who has type 1 diabetes. Welcome, Journey. How does having diabetes make it different at school? It makes my school day different because I need to come here and check my blood and get my shots before I eat. You love martial arts. Do you have to do anything different before taking a class? I need to check my blood sugar before I eat my snack and before I do my exercise. Thank you for sharing with us today, Journey. You know, sometimes I think I see duplicates down these halls. She has a twin sister that we're going to go talk to right now. Welcome, Destiny. How do you feel about your sister having type 1 diabetes? I feel sad and upset because Joni has to get a shot and I have, she has to take her blood sugar and I don't. Do you help your sister manage her diabetes at all? Yes, because I help her set up her shot, let, tell her what to her blood, and tell her to eat a snack at what time. And one time I gave her a shot in my arm. Thank you, Destiny. You seem like a huge help. Now, we're going to talk to one of our teachers. Mrs. Sheridan teaches third grade here at Wagner. She also has type 1 diabetes. Welcome, Mrs. Sheridan. Hi. How long have you had diabetes? I've been a diabetic for 18 years. We all know Nicholas and Journey use shots to manage their diabetes. You use a pump. Can you explain how this works? My insulin pump is kind of like Nick's shots. The difference is, is that it's an actual device that continuously pumps the insulin into me in a 72 hour period. So I have one shot every three days instead of multiple shots in one day. Nick and Journey take shots with their insulin. When I use my pump, I fill a syringe with insulin to put into a cartridge that's attached to my cord. It then fits inside of my pump, which gives me the option to take my insulin through a tube to my side. My monitoring device like Nix communicates with a receiver and also with my phone and through my pump to tell me if my sugar is high, normal, or low. Well that was interesting Ms. Charity. Thank you for sharing with us. 
I never realized how many people at RBW were affected by type 1 diabetes. Just by looking at them, you wouldn't even know they had diabetes. They can do the things that all of us can do. Play tennis, participate in martial arts, eat most of the things we eat, and work hard. They just have to make sure to pay attention and be careful to their body to manage their diabetes. The good thing about diabetes is that it's treatable. Just remember that they're a regular kid, they just have type 1 diabetes. They're just like you and me.